Okay, I don't know if you remember this about me, but I do hate to wake up alone. Well, you don't have much choice when you spend the whole day in bed. And that's a problem because... That is no problem at all. Do you have to fill those hot now? It's for human resources. And fill it out. Well, if you come upstairs with me, I can show you a thing or two about human resources. Okay. My memory may be shot, but I, I really do know a bad pickup line when I hear one. <laughs> I never fell for that one, did I? No. Okay. No. But you know what? We're going to be late. You see that clock right there? That we got to go upstairs or, or we're going to be late. Okay. Well, see. We got to go upstairs because we have to run the bubble bath. Seriously. And pour a couple glasses of wine. And it's normally Pinot Grigio. And a little hint of melon in there is your favorite. You're lying. No, I do not lie. I might indulge in a little bit of personal fantasy here, but I do not okay, how, lie. How did I ever find the time to work? Well, you're pretty much your own boss. Yeah, well, sorry, because I have to punch a clock now, and I start tonight. So, you... Just uh, curious how either one of us got anything done. Well, you know, we prioritize. I have missed this part so much. Oh, wait a what, What's wrong? these candles upstairs for a bath. Come on, seriously, we don't take a bath every night, do we? No, but we're about to start. Okay, so what do you say? The new tradition is born. Well, I think the guys on the docks are gonna look at me funny if I show up every shift smelling like magnolias. That's actually vanilla. Whatever. I'm gonna get a drink. You want something? This is out for blood. He tried to kill me last night. It's a good bet that you're next. So, if you want to continue living, my suggestion is that you take Sam and you leave town. So, if Reese hadn't discovered the tripwire, I wouldn't be standing here right now talking to you both. Well, are you sure it was Ruiz? He's not going to give up until until somebody pays for shooting his brother. Who better than Sonny's number one? I'm out of that business. Look, Jason, I realize that you backed away from Sonny, okay? But Ruiz doesn't care about that. He's out for blood, and he's as likely to take it from a hitman like you as he is from a lawyer like me. Uh, are you leaving town? No, but I'm willing to accept Sonny's protection. You're not. There's got to be some way you can stay Yeah, there the is, Charles. Sam. Jason could take care of this. He could take out Ruiz right now and end this whole thing. But he's not going to do that, are you, Jason? I appreciate the heads up. I got to talk this over with Sam. You know what? You, you may not remember this, but there's a history of bad blood between the two of us. Why? Why are you telling me? I'm this just saying, if there's if there's some voice in your head that's telling you not to trust me, it's not from nothing. But Sonny and I have been able to get past a lot of things, and I know him well enough to know that if anything happened to you. Look, just do everybody a favor and keep out of harm's way. You're scared. You're not. Do you want to leave, poor Charles? Not without you. Well, uh, we can... We can just start over someplace else if you need to. I can take care of us wherever we live. Okay, well, I, I really don't think we have to decide right this minute, as long as you think we 
You can handle Javier Ruiz, and I think we're going to be okay. I'll see you tomorrow morning, okay? Okay. Jason. Take this. Come on, I just, I want you to be safe. 